In this video, we'll be going through the setup of an instrument and an associated routine. From the instrument screen, you can choose to copy an existing instrument using the copy button. For this tutorial, we'll be setting up a new instrument using the new button from the instrument screen. The same steps apply when setting up a new plant item from the plant item screen. The mandatory fields for the setup are marked by a red asterisk, so we'll start by entering a tag and we'll then select an item type from the item type drop down menu. Now we'll go ahead and fill in the other mandatory details required to set up the instrument. For the service statuses, we have open maintenance which applies to a scheduled calibration. We have closed maintenance which is available for unplanned work orders only and the same applies to quarantine. Out of service means it's not available for either planned or unplanned, but you can still see the history of the instrument. If you have the privileges, you can add to all drop-downs directly from the screen by selecting the blue plus buttons. There are many other fields available where additional information can be added, but the mandatory fields are tag, item type, class, area, service status, company and department. If you mistakenly save the instrument details with a tag name that already exists in the company, you'll receive an error message. So after entering a tag name that is not already in use, and then selecting save, you will be asked if you would like to create a routine for the instrument, which we will be doing in this tutorial. The routine types that are available are set up in the routine type setup screen. For this tutorial, I'll be selecting the calibration of furnace routine type. As you can see, all the defaults are automatically populated, with the exception of the date. We'll set that for a date in the near future. All the items like SOP, safety permits needed, and maintenance tasks have also been added. The cert type selected on the details tab of the routine will determine the mandatory fields for the routine setup screen. So as well as the information on the details screen, all of the information on the values tab is also taken from the routine type template. Now that we have reviewed the values tab, we can save the routine and complete the instrument setup. 